What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Sunshine Way. I am your lovely host, Kaya, and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 7. Now, excuse my appearance, but if you watch yesterday's Vlogmas video, then you know I'm taking care of a baby that's under the weather. So, my looks are on the back burner, but it's okay. I will be looking better tomorrow. So, in today's video... Since today is Vlogmas Day 7 and I've been keeping up with things, I'm going to do um, my 7 unpopular, wait, 7 unpopular opinions, okay? So 7 like hot topics or hot, what do they call them, hot takes or whatever, but it's basically 7 unpopular opinions. And trust me, if I wanted to, <clears throat> I could give about a list of like 10,000 things, but this is just seven okay for seven days of vlogmas so yeah let's get into it my first unpopular opinion is that starbucks iced coffees and frappuccinos could never top dunkins okay if you get any frappe or any like iced coffee from dunkin it tastes so sweet so creamy but then you can also taste the espresso that's in it. And then when you finish drinking it, you can feel it. When I be getting certain drinks from Starbucks, I don't even feel the energy. I don't, I'm not feeling caffeinated. But when I drink Dunkin', I feel it. So not only do it taste good, but it do what it's supposed to do. Okay? My second unpopular opinion is... Now, this one is probably going to upset some people, so... But it's fine, okay? This is what I personally believe, and that's why it's called an opinion, okay? Two, it's okay to be a submissive wife, and it's okay to do traditional wife things. And I'm putting quotes around traditional wife things, such as cooking. Like, I love cooking, and when I cook for my family, when I cook for my husband, or when I find a new recipe, I'm excited about it. And when my husband is hungry, I love to hear that my food was good to his spirit. Okay? So, to me, I love that traditional wife, doing that tradi traditional wife thing. Do I feel forced to do it? No. But I feel like I love doing it. I feel like it's something that I should do. And also, it's okay to be a submissive wife. Now... It depends on if the man is mature enough and really understands what it means in the Bible to be a submissive wife and what it also means to have respect for your partner. Because if the person doesn't have respect for their partner, their wife, if the person doesn't have respect for, uh, I mean, doesn't understand like what it means to be a submissive person or a submissive wife, then they then I wouldn't be submissive to that person, if that makes sense. But if you and that person really understands what is going on and what it's talking about and what it's dealing with, I feel that it is okay to be a traditional wife and a submissive wife. Number three, teaching can cause trauma and PTSD. Y'all, I've been in the school system for five years now, and it seemed like it's been longer than that. I've been in the school system for five years now, and I have some stories I could tell y'all, but I can't. But if I could, y'all give me a couple more years, I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to spill the tea on what's really going on. But there is so much trauma and drama and PTSD that comes from children, from adults, from the job, from the duties, from the... Um, in and out, the year to year, the grade to grade, the the school to school, like it doesn't matter. Like it's so much things that can happen to cause drama, trauma, PTSD, okay? And that make you can alter the way that you think and that can truly, truly affect your home life and your personal life. It's t when you're a teacher, it's very hard to separate that personal and Especially if you coach. If you coach or you like tutor or do like a sponsor a club at school or anything like that, it's really, really hard to separate and it can cause trauma and drama and PTSD and it can really change the way you view certain things or think certain things and certain things can like f fester and like stress you out and that 
Like, like it's so many times. Like, my husband probably could tell you. Like, I'd be rambling on to him because it'd be a lot. It'd just be a lot. But I do love teaching. I do love coaching. But it's just a lot. Um, number four is, and I know people going <laughs> People will probably think I'm joking or people probably going to think I'm trying to be funny, but I'm not. iPhones do not compare to galaxies. Like, the cameras could never compare. Um, the amount of things you can hold and store could never compare. Like, when it comes to Samsung products or Galaxy product or Samsung Galaxy, like, the storage is endless, Okay. I don't have to buy anything. I don't got to pay no monthly fee. I ain't got to go through these hoops and buy it on the Apple Store or none of that. I can just, boom, download it straight to my phone. No problem. Okay? Number five, you can be educated and still a dummy. You can be educated as in, like, have a degree, a bachelor's, a doctorate. It don't even matter. You could be educated and still be a bum. You can be educated and still be an idiot. You can be educated and still be, like, incompetent. Like, you, just because you got a degree don't mean that, it don't, it don't mean that. It don't mean that. <laughs> okay, you can have a degree in it and you could be totally opposite of what you should be. Now, if you got yourself together and you got your stuff in line, your your degree does stand. I'm not saying that a degree means nothing. That is not what I'm saying. And I'm not saying that going to college doesn't mean anything because I got a degree myself. And then, yes, it does mean something. And it means something on paper and it means something when it comes to me teaching. Oh, yes, and I pay for my education and all that type of stuff. So, yes, it does mean a lot. And it's education is value. Edu and knowledge is something that somebody can't take away from you. But high and mighty attitude because you got an educate uh, degree, but you're still a bum and an idiot, like gone somewhere. Like gone. Number six, inside beauty does contribute to your outer beauty. So if you are beautiful inside, if you have like a very good heart and you have like a internal beauty and joy about yourself, if you carry yourself to where you care about people and the way you interact with people, the way you do things for others or the way that you show your work ethic and your character, your personality and who you are, that will make you even more beautiful. Like, if you a baddie on the outside, but you got all those things going on for yourself, that drive, that good personality, that good character, um, that selfless behavior, that just, like, super goofy or something to be around, and you pretty, or and, and you're a baddie, or, oh, you look good, like, or you know how to dress. Like, it just, the combination, chef's kiss, okay? So, do not think, that your inner beauty does not affect your outer beauty because it does because when people are ugly in the inside i start seeing ugly stuff on the outside like they can be drop dead gorgeous or they could be super super handsome but when they got ugly things about them like i can start see i'm like mm, that they did or they did like i can see it like mm -mm, i don't like it and last but not least number seven it's my this is, I feel like it's an unpopular opinion, but some people, it might be surprised that it's on this list, but like, I feel that it's an unpopular opinion because people deal with so much like childhood trauma and people deal, carry that stuff into their adulthood as well as like people get hurt so bad, but like love can heal, love can heal like period. Like if somebody come in and love you the right way, whether that is um a platonic love relationship love family love whatever friendship all, all that um mentorship or whatever but if somebody come in and love you like and if you allow god to really love on you like it can heal but you as the person that need healing you have to allow that healing to happen you have to allow that love to happen in order for it to happen like in order for you to get healed so those are seven of my unpopular opinions um 
comment down below what y'all think of those or comment down below some of your unpopular opinions and maybe in one of my other videos in vlogmas i will read off y'all unpopular opinions but basically if you don't know what an unpopular opinion is again it's basically like your own personal opinion that other people are like what are you talking about or they don't people don't typically agree with it or people would t typically say that or it's like the opposite of what's the trend or what's everybody what everybody is liking so again i'm gonna read mine off real quick just in case you forgot so you can know like what to comment on but number one starbucks iced coffee and fraps will never top duncan's two it's okay to be a submissive wife and to do traditional wife things um number three teaching can cause trauma and ptsd Four iPhones can't top, can't compare Samsung Galaxies. Number five, you could be educated educated with a degree and still be like a bum, an idiot, um, incompetent, all of that. Um, number six, inside beauty contributes to your outer beauty um, or affects your outer beauty. And number seven, love can heal, but the person has to allow it to. So, those are my seven unpopular opinions. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you tap that notification bell so you can notify every time I upload. And please, again, forgive me for my appearance, but I had to get Vlogmas Day 7 up. And y'all know I've been taking care of my baby. But me and him got to get up and go out tomorrow. So I'm going to be looking slightly more together tomorrow. So just forgive me, okay? Um, so yeah, remember, be humble, be inspiring. Be kind, y'all, and don't forget to shine. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. See y'all for Vlogmas Day 8.